Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Halloween with Amberlynn through the years video. Now today we are watching her vlog from 2015 and 2016. In both of those years, she was dating Destiny. So it's gonna be interesting to see if she did anything different while dating Destiny than she did when she was dating Crystal, which is the video that we watched yesterday. So let's not waste another minute. Ready? Let's go. Hello, everybody. I literally just woke woke up. I look like a hot mess. Don't mind that. I'm about to go get in the shower. Do you guys ever just wake up and you're just in automatically in a bad mood? Like everything that happens just annoys you or upsets you, and that's kind of where I'm at right now. Why do I get the feeling this happens to her a lot? Waking up in a bad mood, or at least using that as an excuse for why she's in a bad mood. <laughs> like it's not my fault. I just woke up that way. I really don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because I slept bad or because it's Halloween and I have to go to work. But I'm going to try my hardest to look on the positive side of everything because being a grouch all day just isn't cute. Not flattering and I'm sure it's going to annoy everybody at work because I am the type of person if I'm upset or if I'm like super happy or excited. Like either way I just can't hide my emotions like I'm super horrible at it and yeah, that checks out. I totally believe that she's the type, if she's in a bad mood or she's upset about something, you are going to hear about it. She does not know how to hide her emotions at all, even if it's like an inopportune time. She's going to let you know how she's feeling, no matter the situation. And everyone at work, like, they say they love working with me because I'm always like in a good mood and I'm happy and I'm funny and I don't make things boring, so I don't want to be like that snooge you know okay i've been sitting here for like two minutes trying to figure out what word she's thinking of instead of snooge and i cannot come up with it the only thing i can think is maybe she's thinking of the word scrooge but that doesn't really fit in and she says it so confidently she looks straight at the camera and says i don't want to be a snooge if anyone knows what that means please let me know or maybe what she was trying to say because i just can't figure it out all right, so <laughs> this is how I look for Halloween, and I'm fixing to go to work like this, and I just painted my nails. They look really bad, but it's like, did it real fast. Wow, so she's repeating costumes. She wore this costume last year, which is fine, but it's just crazy. She did like almost the exact same hairstyle, the exact same nail polish, even with all the nails but one being the same color and then the ring finger being the different color. The only difference is this year, it looks like she did decide to go ahead and put the whiskers on, which last year, if you'll remember from yesterday's video, she didn't wanna put the whiskers on because she was like, that's too far, that's too much. I can't be seen in public with the whiskers. This year, apparently, totally fine with that. Have myself a cat thingy, a cat bow, cat makeup, cat ears. This is what I am for Halloween all the time. Cat, 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 because cats are the bomb.com. And you guys want to see Destiny? She is a skeleton type thing. <laughs> it's just real fast costume idea. And this blows in the dark, so. Okay, Destiny, I'm going to say it's kind of a lazy costume, but if you're going to work, I understand. And she looks cute and cozy, so there's that. And her slippers are like skulls or whatever, so. Crossbow, is that what you call them? Crossbones. So. Yes, yeah, Amberlynn, it's called a skull and a crossbow. God. Oh, we're off to work. She's skull. not working today, but whatever. Shake it, girl, shake it. Foot. That is a small sock. That's my sock. I mean, oh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Say hi, Casey. Mm. They love you. Yes, they do. Yeah, but someone asked for your number on there. Shut the front door. <laughs> if so, okay, let's ha let's put this in a scenario. <laughs> if someone though. commented and was like, "Damn, she hot," can I have her number? Well, what since would you that do? Won't happen. No, no. <laughs> Look at how little she is. She is little. You know, sometimes I struggle to find pictures to put in thumbnails for Amberlynn, and then other times she makes it so easy. Thank you, Amber. Here, you can do the towels. Here. Ooh! Oh, 
Mumu can't come in. Okay, so there's a tornado warning and we're at work right now. Okay, in case you missed what just happened, Amber Lynn moved the camera onto her friend and there was a resident of the assisted living center where they work in the background amberlyn just showed this person's full face and then you hear destiny yell at her not to come in so there's her name <laughs> pretty much breaking any kind of confidentiality and amberlyn knows she did it because as soon as she moved the camera back she says oh like she knew exactly what happened but did she care enough to take it out of the video nope it's still there to this day eight years later and she tries to quickly change the subject to something so that everyone, she thinks everyone will just forget what they just saw and move on. Nice. I get off in an hour, so I gotta go bust my ass real quick. Casey, you're seeing me vlog, like head on. How do you oh feel about goodness. life? Ugh, the way she said that, you just know she thinks she's some kind of celebrity. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Destiny's dad doesn't want us driving home because we live kind of far from work, so we're going to stay at his house tonight. I have no change of clothes. I know. I told him that. I said that we'll just get up in the morning and go get some. What if it's still storming in the morning? Yeah, what if it's still storming in the morning? It's supposed to storm all. Whatever. But yeah. Mama, what you doing? Like the same thing I said, oh. I can't walk very you can't walk fast. very fast? You want to go sit in one of those chairs and I'll come to you in a minute? I gotta wipe down the tables and stuff since y'all just ate. You want me to help you wipe the table? I don't need help. I got it. Love, Love you, Moo Moo. Yeah. The irony of Amberlynn Reed calling someone else a Moo Moo. But seriously, why does she keep filming these people? Cut this part out. I mean, yeah, we can't see this person's face, but we hear her voice. Like, that's not okay. Give these people a little bit of respect. What you want me to do. Just go sit over there. Oh, did you guys notice that I have instead of a hoop, I put a little. <gasps> did you notice that actually? Let's get real. Yeah, I used to always just have a little thingy like that, but the only reason why I have it now is because I have makeup on my nose. Mm -hmm. But I kind of prefer it. What do you think? You don't know. You like this one better? Why, oh, thanks. Hey. I need to get my card out, Mumu. You can't oh, be in here. Destiny. I'm not gonna eat in here. You can't be in here. You oh. can't be in here, Mumu. Mumu, this is the office, okay? It's for employees only. Oh, this part really bothers me. Like, how about one of y'all get up off your butts and help her? Walk out with her. Show her where she can be. No, let's all just continue yelling at her. And of course, Amberlynn just keeps on filming. What? What? I'll be out there in a minute. Destiny, one of them came up to me and they're like, you know black cats are bad luck. Try to guess who. Guess who it was. And I go, I go, <laughs> I go, I have a black cat at home. And she goes, but you're a black cat now. And I'm like, <laughs> no. How much of her day do you think Amberlynn spent sitting on her ass, shit talking the residents that she was supposed to be there helping? I'd guess most of it. Yeah, it's open. If you would just help me, we were already oh. done. You you gotta hang them up. I don't know what you think you're doing. Ooh, drama she in the office. Look at how wrinkled it. She's four foot tall. Yes. So? <laughs> don't do that to her. You better hang them up for her. Make her outfit. She does have some fancy underwear for her. Some of them, that's all they want. Oh, cool. So they just put all their clean laundry on the dirty floor while Amberlynn sits there talking about the person's underwear. Like, I get it. You're at work. You talk about things like this, maybe. But to put it in a vlog, it just, it's so not cool. Like, all of this should have been cut out. Where? Look, she's looking in here. What are you about to do? Paint the house. Okay, good. Now we're actually getting into some Halloween festivities. We went and tried to find pumpkins at Walmart last night, and they had zero. So, we're going to paint a house instead of cars with pumpkin. It's a little Halloween house. It's cute. And we got some paints. Orange. Is that black? Yeah. Purple. White. Paint. And paint brushes, of course. Well, I kind of like the purple, but I wish the purple was a little darker. Yeah. Maybe you can mix black and purple together. No, that's too much. That's too much. Just do it like right here. I'm trying to decide what color to do. 
Okay, I know this is so fascinating, but let's just skip ahead a little bit to where they're finished with it. So this is how it looks. <laughs> we had so much fun with it. Um, the back is just purple. We want to do like a cobweb type thing here, but I don't know. It ended up silly. We have candy to pass out, but we haven't had any trick or treaters because the weather's so horrible. Okay, but if they just bought the candy, didn't they know how the weather was going to be and that there wouldn't be any trick-or-treaters? It sounds to me like somebody just wanted an excuse to buy some candy to eat. And you know that moment where you open your wallet and you're like, dang, that's a lot of money, and then you realize, oh, hashtag bills. Ah, uh, yes, this was when Amberlynn was in her hashtag phase where everything was a hashtag situation type deal. <laughs> She's eating Halloween cupcakes. See? They're so cute. Did you eat the one that said trick or treat? No, I didn't say trick or treat. Oh. So happy Halloween. Look how cute they are. Destiny's fixing to make me some Velveeta because I haven't like eaten anything and I'm hungry. Does she really not know how to make box mac and cheese? Who am I kidding? Of course she doesn't. Thank you, baby. You have food on your mouth. Oh, be polite. Kona? Kona, Kona? Oh my gosh, I wish I could have showed you guys Destiny's sister's Halloween outfit. Her and her boyfriend did like a, I have paint on my finger, don't mind that. We got a little festive and yeah, I also have paint on my shirt right here too. Like, you know, that's what happens when you're an artist and you're just... So creative. Okay, question. Do we think she took those gloves off every time she went to the bathroom? Or do we think she left them on and didn't wash her hands? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Destiny's sister did like a couple's Halloween costume with her boyfriend. And they were the people from The Purge. Masks and all. And her boyfriend was carrying a machete. And I was a little creeped out seeing them. But it was really creative. I wish I could have showed you guys. I'm sure they would have let me like... Destiny's sister, her name is Cora. She watches YouTube videos all the time. She watches Did a lot you, uh, of what? Tell him about his machete was real. Yeah, his machete was real. I just want to make that known. <laughs> um, like Cora understands the whole YouTube life, and she wouldn't mind being on YouTube. She's been on my channel like twice, so I don't know. I just felt kind of weird. Like, hey, can I vlog your costume? Like, sometimes I feel awkward vlogging in front of certain people. But yet, yeah, she feels fine vlogging the people in the assisted living facility and vlogging their clothes and their underwear. Because that makes sense. I really need to go wash my hands. It's not cute. I'm fixing to try a take five candy for the first time in my life. It's a five layer bar. I have never had it before. So let's do it on camera. I mean, it's a candy bar. Pretty sure you're going to love it. Because why not? We're about to watch American Horror Story and then we're going to watch some horror movies because it's Halloween and Halloween is horror, isn't it? We didn't need to watch Hocus Pocus. No, we didn't. Hocus Pocus is like probably the most popular. Okay, ready? There's a freaking pretzel in there. Yeah. Oh my god. That's good. Yeah. Unhealthy, but good. This is what I have to deal with all the time. <laughs> what is that thing on your head? It's Frankenstein. You should have been Frankenstein for Halloween all day long, but you weren't. She just casually walks away. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you. You know, I bet Amber Lynn would pay a million dollars to go back to this time in her life. She's sitting on the couch in someone else's nice home. She's still with Destiny. She's eating candy while Destiny cooks her food. Can you think of anything more Amber Lynn could want out of life? Watch an American Horror Story. He's 75 degrees. 
That is his temperature. He's 75. We're supposed to be like 98, huh? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Thirsty for some blood he is. He's a vampire. This is currently happening. Like, it's getting flooded back here. Yeah, like I said a minute ago, you can't tell me that they didn't know that the weather was going to be bad and there'd be no trick-or-treaters, but they bought candy anyway. Okay, just admit it. That was for you guys. Damn. I'm going to go to the front porch to show you guys. That's intense. It flooded right there. It is flooded. Uh, what? You mean it's raining in the back of the house and the front of the house? Oh my god, it's so glad you vlogged this. Look. Come look at the gutter. <laughs> oh my god, the gutter! That's funny. I like how it sounds though. It's peaceful. Oh god, Pluviophile Lynn rears her ugly head. You start to get it. Give it away before they can take it from me. Give it all away for free. <laughs> and that way. My pussy cat. You can protect ah! Lick that pussy. <laughs> oh my god. Not showing that. Not showing that. <sighs> Dylan. Ooh. So I'm gonna end the vlog. <laughs> I'm editing that out like what? God, I don't even want to know what she edited out. I'm just thankful that she did it. <laughs> you freaking messed it up. <laughs> okay, I hope you guys had a good Halloween. What are we gonna do for the rest of the night? Each other. That's it? You wanna make love to a cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my god, make it stop. Ugh. Why? I don't know, I've never had reality. Look at her little paw. Oh, look. I have paint on my finger. I still haven't cleaned it. Little paw. Now we're going to watch the rest of American Horror Story and we're going to watch some scary movies. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Ugh, oh my god, thank god that is over. I have never wanted a vlog to be over more than just now. So let's move on to 2016. She's still with Destiny. In this vlog, we are mere months away from them actually breaking up. So let's see what the vibe was like then. Something tells me we're not going to get any shots of them cuddling on the couch talking about, well, you know what they were just talking about. Happy Halloween! Oh my god, she's the cat again. Three years in a row. Wow. She can't even be like a different cat. It's the exact same cat. Okay, I told you guys last night, not dressing up. Completely changed my mind. The issue was, we're not allowed to wear headbands at our job, but a few of my friends from work said, it's okay, it's Halloween, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. They were like begging me to dress up, so. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I dressed up. I am a cat. Yes. Hi. Meow. Like, this is me every Halloween. Like, cats are bae, so I want to be bae for once. Cats are bae, so I want to be bae for once. What does that even mean? Okay, so we have these little things. Since we will not be here for trick-or-treating, but we didn't want to miss out on it. It says, please take one. We know that's not gonna happen. People will probably steal the whole bucket, but the thought that counts. 
We have some candy in each one of these. Super cute idea. I love this. So we're going to go put it out by our pumpkin. Or I'm thinking about putting it at the end of the sidewalk. I haven't yet decided. Either on our porch or the end of the sidewalk. I don't really know. Okay, those are cute. That's cool that they put candy and stuff out even though they wouldn't be there. <laughs> I have been looking forever. And I just can't find him. It's literally been years. I just don't understand. Like, I'm crying, but I don't want to touch my makeup. I lost him so long ago. Everyone has tried to help me find him, and I just can't find him. And I was his kitty cat. I was. And I don't know where he is. I've tried so hard. I made these little books. And I put them everywhere in the world, libraries, stores, and I was like, help me find him. And it's like, a few people find him amongst all the other people, and it's like, they don't come and tell me. Where's my, where, where's Waldo? I don't understand. <laughs> Uh, considering the fact that Destiny lost her beloved cat Gracie maybe like a year before this, I don't think this is coming off as funny as you thought it would. Seems a little insensitive. <laughs> I just want Waldo. Where is he? It's not fair. <laughs> was that funny or yes, stupid? Funny. <laughs> nah, it was the first one that you said. You look so cute. I try. That's my cereal bowl. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go, Waldo? Yep, my shoes are in the car that I want to wear. Okay. Okay, again, a little lazy with the costume. Pretty much the same thing she did last year. Just a shirt, a t-shirt, pants. And then this year she has the hat. But I do think it is a cute costume. Especially if you have to go to work and want to be somewhat comfortable, then that's a good idea. Okay, so the next part I cut out. It just shows them in the car listening to music, driving to work. And it was pretty boring. <laughs> So we just went grocery shopping, so I gotta put all this goodies away. Goodbye to the cat face. Many of you are like, why aren't you just using makeup wipes? I'm vlogging, baby. <laughs> um, it's because my face is really sensitive, so. Makeup, most makeup wipes actually break me out huh she uses makeup wipes all the time what is she talking about but um the candy was a hit we came home and it was all gone so that makes me really happy see all I used was water and my face is breaking out already well, maybe that's because all you used was water and you had to like scrub really hard to get the makeup off because of that. It's like burning. Look. Ugh. Okay, is she trying to say that those pimples just now popped up because she, what, used a washcloth and water and wiped her makeup off? Like, girl, that is not how it works. All I used was water. That's just how it goes for a girl like me. Whatever. So, this is cute. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm just getting ready to go night night. So. Okay, wait. So, we saw her wipe off the whiskers and that makeup but she did not even touch her eye makeup. Is she gonna go to sleep with it on? Of course she is. Why am I even asking that question? This is Amber Lynn. Of course she is. I just wanted to vlog real quick, end it. Oh, and say, I was in a Halloween costume contest today at work. Quite a few people dressed up. It was really awesome. Some of the costumes I saw today, I was like, 
<laughs> I got complimented a lot on mine. It was nothing special. I kind of felt like out of place, but you know. <laughs> I work with some really sweet people and they're like, come on, be in the costume contest. And I was like, I don't want to. Okay, this looks better. I was like, I don't want to, look at this. Ugh. Yeah, maybe use some face wash instead of just rubbing the makeup off as hard as you can with a wet washcloth. Also, what's the point of just using water if it breaks you out anyway? Why not use the makeup wipes? If they both break you out, wouldn't the makeup wipes be more gentle on your skin? I don't know. Why am I trying to apply logic to this situation? I hate having sensitive skin. It's the worst. But yeah, I kept telling them like, I didn't want to be in the thing, and they kept doing, come on, come on, so I did. I also voted. I have a couple friends who voted for me, so that was sweet. Avi, I did not win because there was some amazing costumes, so. Yeah, and maybe they had already seen your costume for the last two years in your vlogs. I love being a cat for the day. It was honestly super fun and I'm loving my hair whoa girl oh my god I love this sorry I'm feeling myself I mean hey nothing wrong with that but how many times have we heard her say how th she thinks she is just the ugliest person in the world and she hates looking at herself in the mirror she can't stand the way that she looks girl this is why we call you a liar when you say that Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna start wearing my hair like that. Oh, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm amazed. God, you see what I mean? There's no way that she hates the way she looks. Look at her. Okay, I hate myself. Selfie time, just kidding. Okay, love you guys, ending this vlog. I hope you guys had a great Halloween. My day was full of work, but I saw awesome costumes works that was cool um I'm not wearing pants I'm sure no one cares about that but I'm gonna go finish washing my face with just water so I can break out more and I'll see you in my next video bye okay well that was 2015 and 2016 Halloween with Amber Lynn I didn't really see much of a difference from yesterday's video when she was dating Crystal. Obviously, there's no difference in the costumes. But yeah, this was a fun time for her in her life. She was with Destiny. She thought they were going to be together forever. She had real life friends who she didn't meet over the internet who seemed to really like her. She had a good job outside of YouTube. She was getting out of the house. And it just seemed like she was very happy then. Now, tomorrow we are going to move on to 2017 and 2018. And that is when she was dating Beck. And we'll see if there are any differences in those years. I have a feeling that there will be. But we are going to find out together. So I hope you guys will watch that video tomorrow with me. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video with me because I had so much fun watching it with you. And if you did enjoy it, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to leave me a comment down below.